still all this stuff. They said he didn't understand it, but they actually learned a lot more. So what he basically said is he can facilitate kids to access the machine and give them to their own device. They can learn faster than if you were just spoon feed them and try and make them memorize stuff. And I think somebody asked me about the education side, right? Like I'm not technical, if I don't have business skills. I mean, the good thing is that if you can communicate, you can read, you can understand, you can ask questions. You can have access to information. I mean, you can do a whole Ivy League MBA for less than $1,000 today, right? Harvard Business School is actually putting all the whole program onto the online soon. So getting knowledge is not a big thing. I mean, if you guys, uh, if you guys are familiar with the Khan Academy, Salman Khan, the founder, I mean, he said that you go to university to do three things. You go there to learn, which you can do online. You go there to socialize, which you can also do online nowadays. The third thing you can't do is actually accreditation, right? Basically marking your exam and giving you a degree, which is now, I think if you go to Udacity, they are basically offering nano degrees. And also, uh, you know, Sebastian Schroen, the guy that developed the satellite navigation car for Google, he's, uh, he set up Udacity because he wanted to make education affordable. He did a deal with Georgia Tech, which is one of the top 10 computer science schools in the world. Right, that I think for seven thousand something, you know, you can do an entire master's in computer science offline completely. Um, so there you go. I mean, you know, that's that is that really true a lot. And then what my advice to you guys is go out and meet a lot of people. Like this guy, right, Jack and Bracker, you guys know him. Uh, Jack and Bracker, right? I mean, you know, he's a fifteen-year-old kid today, seventeen-year-old just got to Stanford. Um, he was very, very uh, passionate about trying to find an early detection for pancreatic cancer because his uh, father passed away. Uh, you know, uh, as his father's best friend passed away uh, very quickly when he detected. But the current methodology for detecting pancreatic cancer is 30 years old. So he Googled the answer actually, and then he wrote to 200 professors at the university where near his house, John Hopkins, in in Maryland. He had 199 rejections. Even one professor said something like this never work. But one guy said, come in, talk to my PhD student, and you know, if it works out, we'll try it out. And he did, and it worked for six months in the lab, and he actually got it working, he won the Intel prize. And uh, yeah, he's now, uh, you know, basically uh, following a, a pattern and all that. So he found a way to detect um, pancreatic cancer that is 600 times faster and 120 times cheaper, or the other way around. Um, and, 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 the, and the story that he tells, you know, what's his TED talk was like, he was reading about nanotubes, this is how he's doing it, you know, carbon nano nanotubes in his biology class. And his teacher got really upset and confiscated his paper, thinking that he was, uh, you know, not paying attention in class. And all he could think about the whole period was how to get his paper back. And this is a guy that found a, uh, you know, a, a potential uh, fast cure for pancreatic cancer that almost stopped in his tracks by his biology teacher. Um, oh, okay, this is on. So, 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 you know, I just put up this picture that I think you guys should go try out different things and see what suits you, right? This is Tim Berners Lee, right? Sir Tim Berners Lee, the guy who, the father of World Wide Web. He's looking at my shirt, but it's Chrome, right? And no, he developed Mozilla, so he, he doesn't like it. <laughs> and he said, Tyron, don't you have another shirt? I said, no. So, but that was him. This is Matt Moran. This is Nisho Kaku and David Koket. And then he got me into, I think Kotran was uh, there too. Uh, made up with Nisho Kaku, really cool guy. So he's, a, he's the founder, he's the guy who discovered the string theory, super string theory, and Euclidean theory. You watch his talks. And then uh, he has a talk together with, uh, with the last mile dancer uh, at Griffith University. So I suck in ballet, I don't cook well. I <laughs> don't like uh, web programming and uh, not into physics. So I don't know, we could try some different stuff and see what suits you. Um, and my funny words to you from the Singularity stuff is basically on the opening day, Singularity, uh, Larry Page actually said, are you guys working on something that can change the world? Yes or no? I mean, if you check and direct a 15 year old boy can do something amazing like that. You know, you guys have more resources, more experience, more wisdom, I'm sure you can do um, even more amazing stuff. So most of the people in the world is no. So you need to train people on how to change the world. So technology is a way to do it and you guys should get going and start doing it. So you can, you can follow me on Facebook uh, if you don't want to friend me. Um, and I do a lot of updates on it. So I'm, I'm going to uh, go on to the um, to a different slide now. Is there any questions on singularity anything I spoke about? Okay, I want to talk about, um, let me see, I think I'll talk about the uh, exponential organizations. Uh, I don't know, you've got a choice. You can actually have a new slide of singularity, which is uh, actually a repeat of some of the stuff I talked about, except uh, 